subscribe! <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Xbox On. Now you may have already seen the incredible Inside Xbox show at XO18 in Mexico, which gave us loads of awesome announcements and first looks of new games and DLCs coming to our Xbox Ones. But what we're going to be taking a look at in this video is all the games that have been announced and confirmed to be coming to Xbox Game Pass over the next few months, and there is a lot of them. Let's take a look at what big titles and indie games we've got to look forward to. We are always here. So, as you may have heard, PUBG has actually come to Xbox Game Pass, a year after releasing on the Xbox One, and still one of the most popular battle royales out there, PUBG has a firm place in the gaming halls of fame, with one of the fastest growing communities in modern gaming. It is a game that is guaranteed to get your heart pumping as you try to win that all-important chicken dinner. With the Game Pass release, you'll have access to all three current maps, including the original Wrangle, Desert Map Miramar, and the fast-paced jungle map Sanhok. This is a game that if you haven't played yet, you have to give it a go, just for the pure experience. Whether you're playing by yourself or with a group of friends, it's given me some of my favorite gaming memories in 2018 on my Xbox One. And to be honest, I don't think I've ever mentioned it, but did you see my snipe? Anyway, the sole objective of PUBG is to be the last man or team standing by dropping in and surviving, whether that's by hiding in a crafty corner or going on a murderous rampage with all of those convenient guns hanging around. Dropping into the game and finding only gun attachments, rushing for supply drops to get the best weapons, or being stuck with only a pan. It's all part of the experience, but when you win your very first game of PUBG, there's no better feeling. It's a tense, sometimes frustrating, but altogether rewarding game that everyone should try. most emotive games that didn't even need to use words to get there. Ori and the Blind Forest is a stunning puzzle platformer with a whole lot of feels built in. Young orphan Ori has to be brave and help save their home from a dark nemesis that's taken the few comforts they had in this strange, strange place. Because there's nothing worse than losing everything you loved and finding the place you called home is in incredible danger and you're the only one who can stop it. You will guide them through the forest and help them find power-ups and solve the mysteries you find and so you can free the forest from the darkness. A game that everyone should try is challenging in all the right ways and now is a great time to play ahead of the sequel's release next year. Also coming to Xbox Game Pass is the beautiful sequel to Ori and the Blind Forest, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. We got our hands on this at E3 and Gamescom this year, ahead of its global release in 2019, and it is fantastic. Like its predecessor, this is a game of beauty, from the scenery, to the music, to the in-game sound effects. It's a game that you're just going to fall in love with, with an incredible story and time trial modes that's just going to have you trying to perfect the use of Ori's abilities to navigate yourself through the world in as fast a time as you can. This is a game you're not going to want to miss out on, so make sure to try it when it becomes available in 2019 on Xbox Game Pass. to start a day feeling attached to a bunch of coloured rectangles, but if you'd play Thomas Was Alone, you can sure end it that way. The gameplay feels wonderful and intuitive, complementing the minimalistic art style in this platformer, where you figure out the strengths and abilities of each rectangle and help use them to pass obstacles. With over 100 levels, over 10 characters and some fantastic narration, this is an indie game that is truly deserving of attention. But she hadn't been alone, and they had seen her. With Xbox making the announcement that Ninja Theory is now a first-party studio, this is the perfect opportunity to hop onto and play one of the studio's most iconic games with Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. 
coming to Xbox Game Pass in December 2018. Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice is a dark fantasy action adventure game, which is definitely one of the spookier games that we've played this year. The game really gets into your head with incredible visuals and sounds and plays on overwhelming your senses. This is a game you definitely need to experience for yourself whilst wearing a pair of headphones for full immersion. The combat is also super satisfying with these cinematic parries and slashes which keep you on the edge of your seat. So make sure to give Hellblade a go when it comes to Game Pass in December. So you will walk into the lair of the beast, look it in the eye, and you will go to the moon. With a name like that, it's bound to grab your attention. So what exactly is Void Bastards? There are strategy and shooter elements in this game, and you decide on a target and plan operations, boarding and raiding spaceships using a motley crew of misfit prisoners to do the dirty work. You're calling the shots and grabbing the loot, and it's all a bit mischievous and fun with a cell shaded comic book art style and a sassy narrative to keep you on your toes. Like a lot of the games on this list, this is a brand new release which will be available from day one on Game Pass. <laughs> Surprise, book this! Another game coming to Xbox Game Pass on its day of launch is After Charge. A neon lit and unique 3D world awaits you in this 3v3 team based competitive first person shooter. Invisible robots fight their invincible security squad creators in a bid to take over. So it's a unique outlook. Employ your sneakiest tactics to destroy extractors placed around the map while the other team utilizes powerful abilities to stop you in your tracks. There's a huge amount of team coordination required to be successful at distracting the opponents. If you lose all your health, your robot goodness will be disabled, so you'll be able to see what's going on around you but not move or use abilities till you've been revived again. One for those who fancy something a bit unique in their Game Pass subscription. I always wanted to go shopping with my goat, but for some reason the guys at Tesco aren't as keen on the idea, and as a result I'm no longer welcome at my local express. Save yourself the heartache and play Supermarket Shriek instead. One man and his goat versus a whole range of shopping centre obstacles. Not only is there single player and co-op, you can play as a party of up to eight whole people, or goats. Smash or don't smash those challenges and get yourself a bargain on Game Pass. Also coming to Xbox Game Pass in December is Kingdom 2 Crowns, where players will have to work on building their kingdom from the threat of greed. And what's awesome is that you'll be able to play this game in either solo or in co-op. You'll build up your kingdom, come up against a range of different enemies, and discover secrets in this awesome award-winning game franchise by Raw Fury. It's survival, but not as you know it. Most survival games you'll need to shoot your way to the top, but in Pathologic 2 your enemy is a little bit harder to target. A deadly plague has consumed the town you called home and your choices will determine your outcome. Will you make allies to help you on your way? Or will you have to fight your way to finding a cure? There's only limited time to figure out your next step in this eerie first person adventure and the locals are as weird as they are dead, which is to say, very. You can perform autopsies to determine the causes of death or maybe just take their organs, why not? You're the doctor. Enjoy this delightfully creepy mystery and please, for the sake of everyone, find a cure. Adding to the diverse list of beautiful stylistic games on Game Pass, we have season one of Thief of Thieves. Based on the original comics in both narrative and art style, you take control of Celia, up and coming master thief under the guidance of renowned super thief, Conrad Redmond Paulson. Help Celia stealth, sneak and sweet talk her way into the criminal halls of fame on Game Pass. There's never been a better time to perfect your snooping skills. I don't like the sound of this. Don't worry so much. There are some things we need to go over. Hello Neighbor is a deceptively creepy game. The style might be cartoony, but the gameplay takes a dark turn very quickly. What is that weirdo down the road hiding? Why do you keep hearing children scream? Why are all its doors double locked in a house full of booby traps? Maybe some things are best left hidden. Or maybe they're best discovered with a friend. 
secret neighbor comes to Game Pass. It's the co-op version of the strange puzzle horror, so you can gather the troops and rescue your friend before it's too late. All right, we're almost there. We just need to find the red key. There's one person missing. Oh, looks like Billy got caught. Hmm. Let's split and search the second floor. Remember, don't trust anyone. From November 22nd, you'll also be able to get your hands on Agents of Mayhem with Xbox Game Pass, which is an open world action adventure set in the Saints Row universe in a futuristic version of Soul. There are a total of 12 agents for you to choose from, who each have their own weapons and unique abilities to help fit your playstyle. They also all play really differently, like using a bow and arrow instead of an assault rifle, and the game is bright and vibrant. Driving is also super fun as you speed around the city, especially during some of the driving quests, but you'll definitely get what the game promises you, mayhem. Knock knock, Legion. Sometimes I wish I was a cat and I could just lay around all day, catching cuddles and getting fluff all over my owner's favorite coat. In The Good Life, you get to choose whether you want to turn into a cat or a dog at night, because the rest of the town of Rainy Woods does that for some reason, casually. Naomi came to Rainy Woods in England after racking up massive debts in New York, and apparently the only way she can escape these debts is by taking photos of all the weird people who live in this strange little town. There's a heck of a lot of bizarre out there to discover and photograph. Everyone knows I love my combat fast paced, but sometimes it's nice to slow it down a bit and think tactically for a while. That's where Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden comes in. With deep turn based combat reminiscent of games such as XCOM, Mutant Year Zero plops you into a post apocalyptic landscape with a very interesting set of characters, all with their own abilities, strengths, and weaknesses. All playstyles are accommodated, and the only limit to how far you can progress is your own forward thinking and strategy. Get your hands on Mutant Year Zero this December with Xbox Game Pass. Dirt bike racing is next on the agenda. Live out your optimistic pro motocross rider dreams with MXGP3, the official game for the motocross championships held every year around the world. Praised for the realism of the riding with plenty of mud to get your wheels into, you can play as the top riders in the top teams of the 2016 MXGP season and compete for the ultimate podium finish. The game features 18 top tracks from the circuit and official rosters from the season, along with 300 real items you can use to customize your bike to get that whole shot and keep the lead. So those are some of the fantastic games coming to Game Pass now and in the near future. Some big titles mixed in with some fantastic indie games. Game Pass keeps getting better and better. And these are added to the roster of over 100 games already available for a low price every month. Once you have an active Game Pass subscription, you can download and play any of these full games for no extra cost and enjoy to your heart's content. That's it from Xbox On Today. Thank you very much for watching. Leave us a sub if you're new, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye!